in this video we're going to look at some subsets in the math world okay let's start with this set n this is the set of all natural numbers these are the elements 1 2 3 4 and so on so this is the set of natural numbers and we're going to visualize these sets so let's put n on the map this is our n then we have w this is the set of whole numbers so whole numbers if you recall are all natural numbers and 0 so 0 is added to the list this is the set of whole numbers so if you think about it w is a bigger set than n so it has everything that n has and some more so if you want to visualize it this is how you'll do it so we have w this contains n and something more in this case something more is 0 let's continue growing our sets we have z as the third set this is the set of integers so it has everything that n and w have and some more the integers are also negative so we have 0 1 2 3 and we have minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and so on so if we'll visualize this on the map this is what we'll get z has w which has n then we have q and we have written q in the set builder form we have q which has x such that x is equal to p by q where p and q belong to z which is the set of integers and q is not equal to 0 let's break this down we have x where x is p by q which means we are looking at fractions and p and q are integers okay and q is not equal to 0 well q can't be 0 because if the denominator is 0 things will break so q can't be 0 and p and q are integers so basically we are looking at fractions this is the set of rational numbers and if you are mistaken that fractions and integers are different well they are not all fractions are also integers because you can represent integers in terms of fractions for example 2 can be written as 2 by 1 3 can be written as 3 by 1 so if you think about it the set of rational numbers contain all the integers as well which means if you are visualizing it this is what we'll get q contains everything that we have covered so far all the things that we have written as integers whole numbers and natural numbers all of them can be written as fractions as well okay let's continue we have another set t which is also in set builder form this is all the x such that x belongs to r and if you recall from the first video of this chapter r is a set of real numbers x belongs to real numbers where x does not belong to q so we are breaking a pattern here for this set we are saying that all the elements do not belong to the previous set so we are looking at the set of irrational numbers so anything and everything that's not rational is part of this set we are looking at numbers like pi e square root of 2 none of these can be written as fractions so if you want to visualize something that lives outside q this is what we'll get this is a separate set t this is the set of irrational numbers it has nothing to do with all the sets that we have looked so far and that's all that we can get we can get rational numbers or irrational numbers either the numbers can be rational or the numbers can be irrational together they cover the entire set of real numbers together they cover the entire real numbers set now let's use the subset notation to connect all of these sets the smallest set is n and this n is a subset of w natural numbers are a subset of whole numbers and w is a subset of z the set of whole numbers is a subset of the set of integers z is a subset of q set of integers is a subset of the set of rational numbers and q is a subset of this bigger set set of real numbers q is a subset of r this is the chain and if you connect the chain you can see that natural numbers are not only subset of whole numbers they're also subset of integers rational numbers and real numbers so this is the chain but where's t well t is a subset of real numbers that's all that we can say t is subset of real numbers t unfortunately has nothing to do with all the other sets